Hello guys and welcome to Chunk Build! Hope you're alright! Well, 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 today guys we're going down to Earth. So uh, in the last few episodes we've been focusing on the High and Mighty, the Kings of the Castle, and the, the High and Tall Walls, and such like in the medieval world. And actually we're kind of staying in the medieval theme today. Um, <clears throat> but what we're going to look at is three very simple huts, medieval huts, um, and I aim actually to be sort of historically accurate, so these houses are a little bit different from what you normally think of as medieval, um, I, th I guess, <laughs> I, I don't presume to know what you think, uh, but anyway guys, these houses, and they are meant to be rural, poor people's homes. And uh, we're just gonna, they're all three, they're variants on a theme. I'm just gonna go past them like this. Now I recorded myself with the replay mod, which is an amazing mod. I recorded myself creating these. Uh, but unfortunately I made a mistake, so my whole episode is gone. <laughs> So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, guys. I'm going to have to talk you through these buildings. And um, the, the cool, the, the sad thing is, the sad thing is, what you could see in the replay mod uh, footage would have been me developing the style as I went along. And really, really, I really, really struggled with this first one here. Um, you know, before I found what worked. Because the thing is, these houses are all very, very tiny, as you can see, right? Very small houses, <clears throat> yet I wanted details. And I wanted them to look really cool. Um, and um, a lot of that is, uh, what, a lot of what makes this, uh, this build, this first one especially, is the foliage around it. <laughs> this little pig here. <laughs> I'll show you what that is about in a minute. Um, and the messiness <clears throat> of the roof. So, uh, the, the, what is common for all three of these builds is that you go down to go in. And that is a common uh, concept in uh, medieval and Iron Age builds. Uh, the fact that it's easier often to dig out a bit than it is to raise walls. So they would have dug out to preserve heat and <clears throat> sort of get insulated by the ground, right? Um, but they would have dug out also to get protection from the wind and also for stability of the building. So you go down a block and in. And in here is really crammed and cozy, isn't it? We have a fireplace, we have uh, somewhere to cook, we have somewhere to eat, and we have the animals inside. Okay? This is a very imp important concept. They would have kept the cows and the pigs and actually the chickens as well, presumably, indoors, because they would have contributed to the heat of the house. Um, and in here, just in here, right, we have a ladder here as well, I'm going to go through that in a minute. But in here, you would have had one person at least sleeping on the sofa, probably one sleeping here in front of the fireplace, and possibly some sleeping with the animals as well, because that would have been warm and cozy over there. But you can also go upstairs here, of course, and you can have your bedrooms up here. Now this one, this is the favorite of everybody because this is close to the fireplace. And these ones, <clears throat> well, presumably the heat rises a bit from the cows. So this is the interior. I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out because this is such a small scale. Honestly, guys. And yet you have all this, you have chests, hay, animals you know, cooking place and bedrooms, all in the space of just a few blocks. <clears throat> I like it, I like it a lot. Other than that, the general idea of these houses is that they are very earthen, so they use the spruce and the oak, and they have the dark oak pillars, and the roofs are thatched, it's meant to be, so they have a combination of oak and spruce, which is Oak is the new thatch, spruce is the old thatch. And then as you can see, it's landscaped all around. 
Now the next two houses, they are variants on a theme. So if you look at them from above, you can see that they all start out with the same house. Here and here. Now this is an L-shaped house. So th this is two, two of them put together in an L-shape. And this is sort of a T-shaped house. So this is one of them plus half of them coming out. Um, but uh, concept-wise, they're very similar, but they look um, they look different enough so that if you use these structure blocks, that you can find and download in the description. By the way, as always, uh, you can combine the three to make a village. Yeah, you can uh, mix and match and turn them around and so on, and you will be uh, uh, creating a village that is. Um, different enough so that you can uh, you can use it. Okay, so this is the kind of the same concept. This is a little bit of a bigger house. Uh, I think I killed the animals in this one though. So you have animals over here. You have a cooking area. You have a seating area, and you have an upstairs with some more storage and a, a number of beds. As you can see, there would have been a lot of people sleeping in the these little hu huts, and uh, yeah, people didn't have space to sleep. They slept where it was warm and secure. That was the main priority. If they wanted to play, there is no way they played in here, right? They would have gone outside to play. Uh, if they were wanted to work with something other than making knives, maybe, or little wooden figures, or um, doing something with wool, they would have been out in the yard doing that. They would have had a little shed somewhere doing that. And stuff like that. That was their home. Was where they were warm, and where they ate, and where they were comfortable and safe. So the third one, I think this one looks really interesting. It's very messy though, so it might not be for everybody. Um, oh, and I haven't mentioned the windows, by the way. The windows, of course, are sunk down. Um, that means that they don't let in tons of wind because they don't have glass. And instead, we have these little well. I would call them light wells in Swedish, um, if I translate it uh, straight up. I don't actually know what they're called in English. Um, and that, that gives a, even more of a the sense that you're living like in a hole, really. Uh, anyway, we go into this one. <coughs> this one. And it's roomier than the others, actually. Um, and you have the water source over there. You still can cook here and sit and eat. And you can cook here as well. Uh, again, I, I think I killed the animals, or never put them in. But up here, we have a bit more of a luxury going on. There's not as many beds. You even can see downstairs. And of course, when you sit and eat, you're not as crammed here, because you have this little well going up, if you will. But the basic principle, guys, is the same for all three of these houses. In point of fact, you can see many elements that are mirrored. For instance, the chimneys. Um, and the whole fireplace, the messy roof, and also, of course, the building blocks for the walls and such. Uh, one thing that I haven't commented on is that um, the ground is made out of stone. There's a dirt floor. And that is, again, historically accurate. You would have um, put the stones in the ground to keep the dirt from sort of falling into your house. But then, as soon as you came up above ground, you would have uh, used wood because it was easier to access, more readily available, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's a shame guys that I couldn't uh, show you how I built these things, but hopefully I can show you how I built the next thing in this series. This series, by the way, or this theme, which is Rural Medieval Houses. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye! Uh,